Ever since the closure of Top Thrill Dragster in August of 2021, there have been constant speculations about the fate of the ride. Fans of the ride have been studying Cedar Point webcams and are using any sign of life in the ride as another rumor. The most significant piece of evidence so far is the possibility of Zamperla working on the ride, but most speculations have been completely upscaled and are unrealistic. Here's why the new Top Thrill Dragster isn't what you think, and my prediction on the new ride. In order to make an accurate prediction, we first need to dissect what we know about Dragster. Let's start with what we know Cedar Point will change. Already confirmed is the removal of most, if not all, of the track not including the top hat. This includes the launch track and brake run, and more could have been removed during the month of the offseason. Also, around the area were tons of markers for every utility line, including gas, water, sewage, electric, and internet. This could mean anything from moving a small fence to digging up the whole structure. The park said that the ride would undergo a re-theme and renovation from the accident. This most likely involves changing the launch system and moving the brake run. This would also explain why all of the track is removed. Finally, let's get to the manufacturer. Many people believed Intamin would be working on the coaster, but now that may not be the case. Sam Perla is already working with Cedar Point on their Wild Mouse coaster, which recently completed track work after just one month. So will Sam Perla be working on something else for the duration of the offseason? Zamperla announced their new Lightning Train, a comfortable train with lap bars made for launches. In addition, Zamperla specifically stated that the train is capable of high speeds, even higher than the top speed of the original Dragster. A new Intamin launch coaster known as Senza Fiato from Italy was also announced to be moving to Playland in Vancouver, and will be remodeled by Zamperla with these brand new Lightning Trains. And the cherry on top of all of these Zamperla rumors is that the shipping containers around the Dragster site were sent to Genoa, Italy, a city very close to Zamperla's Italian headquarters. Is this all a coincidence? Maybe, but probably not. Let's jump into some false predictions. Some of the coaster community's weirdest predictions are occurring about Dragster. This includes, in my opinion, a very unlikely prediction, a swing launch. Here's why. One, there really isn't a good way of marketing a ride like this. The world's tallest swing launch rollback just doesn't sound as good as the world's longest strata, hint hint. And Cedar Point removing a swing launch shuttle coaster and adding a swing launch shuttle coaster just a couple of years later wouldn't really make sense. It's like replacing a boomerang with a giant inverted boomerang. Also, this would still be unreliable. LSMs are more reliable, but adding a turntable or switch track with different braking systems would be unreliable. Another false prediction is that the ride is not changing whatsoever. For those who don't know, the ride's accident occurred on the final brake run, right next to the queue. Cedar Point will most likely relocate the final brake run of the ride. Why not move the queue? Because if the queue was the issue, the ride would have been finished already. LSMs wouldn't take two and a half seasons to install on top of Dragster. So the final brake run will most likely be relocated. The final incorrect prediction I will discuss is the extended layout. I'm not saying that the layout wouldn't be extended. I think people are just going overboard with the layout. You have to remember, Cedar Point has a ton of ride with inversions. Take Valraven, Gatekeeper, Rougarou, etc. Most of these layouts consist of endless dive loops and animal mins. That seems fun, but also Dragster has long lines all the time, and adding a super long layout would limit capacity already more than downtime would. Cedar Point instead needs a quick ride with intense moments. So if all of these predictions are far-fetched, let's view my prediction. In this prediction, I took into account spacing, Cedar Point's needs, and space for a relocated brake run. In my prediction, Zamperla will be doing the Senza Fiato treatment by replacing the hydraulic launch with an LSM. This will reduce downtime for the coaster, a big issue for Cedar Point, and would also explain the missing track. The launch track length, station, and top hat will all remain the same. Zamperla's LSMs with new lightning trains can reach a higher speed than Dragster, so capability will not be an issue. And yes, Dragster will be receiving new trains. These lightning trains have padding and a comfortable form-fitting lap bar. After the top hat, the ride changes to a Zamperla built track. This can either be like how Powder Keg is, or even the same track Intamin uses. This is where I took into account Cedar Point's needs in a new coaster. Cedar Point is definitely going to use the rebranded Top Throw Dragster as its next big addition, and with this layout, it will most likely feel like a new ride. The reason the top hat and launch remains is that this is still Top Throw Dragster, just a refurb. Cedar Point still wants the iconic coaster to be recognizable, another reason why adding a swing launch would be a little strange. After a set of trims to slow the train down so it doesn't kill riders, the new dragster will enter a zero-g stall. 
Cedar Point is lacking a specific force, hang time. There really isn't a spot in the park besides Gatekeeper's drop in the front row with a strong hanging sensation. A zero-g stall would be fantastic for two reasons. It incorporates hang time and imagine the marketing. This would be the only inversion on a Stratocoaster. The general public loves inversions and heights, so this combo would be incredible for the park. And also, this zero-g stall would take the exact same spot as the previous brake run. The zero-g stall leads into a high turn around the park paths. The supports would be built into the path like Valraven and Corkscrew in other areas of Cedar Point. Some supports can even stretch over the emptiness in the middle of Corkscrew's plot. The overbank would also make for an incredible visual encircling the stands in the middle of the plot if Cedar Point plans on keeping the dragster theme. This overbank would lead into a twisted airtime hop that jumps over the launch track and under the stall. The ride ends with a tight turn over the river next to the ride and underneath Iron Dragon's helix in the trees. This would need some removal of trees to pull off, and trims might be necessary for the ride. This would then lead into a whippy and extremely intense finale into a relocated brake run, which would still hook up perfectly with the same unload station. This can also incorporate the only water feature on a strata and would make Dragster the world's longest strata, which is also a great for marketing. New Dragster, if my prediction is accurate or close to it, would make for great marketing, keep the ride short but sweet, relocate the final brake run, make the ride visually appealing, fits with the removed track, and changes the launch to a more reliable system. Now let's enjoy the Planet Coaster POV. Keep in mind, transitions aren't smoothened and the forces aren't accurate. This is just meant to simulate the layout and placement and mind. Just to recap, the elements are an LSM launch, a 420 foot top hat, 0G stall, overbank turn over corkscrew and the pads beneath, a twisted airtime hill and a low to the ground, intense water turn into the brake run. That water turn will be one of the most intense moments in the park and have an optional water feature with some trims needed. Also the 0G stall will have the longest hang time moment in the park and be the only inversion on a strata. Thank you so much for watching this video, if you enjoyed it make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Comment what you think of New Dragster and have a great rest of your day.